What's up, water signs? I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon in this biatch. Join me as I read your life, baby. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do, baby. And if you need to get a personal read, hit the description box down below. Check out my website, rosmoon.com, for any of the magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, spirit, you are welcome into this reading. All right, daily vibe up in this bitch. We're going to welcome some good spirits for the next couple of days, okay? Um... So here we go. Water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, 24th through the 25th was pop. I already know how I do. I get my romance angels. Okay. We get the messages from there. Keep in mind, time is fluid. Patterns change. People change. And so do the cause. Okay. So here we go. Off top, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. You already know how this goes. Some of y'all could be forgiving your mate, forgiving your person. Um, but there's a lot of learning that you're learning about, that you've learned from, okay? And also saying you are lovable, water signs. You deserve love. Oh, that reconciliation card just fell out. Reconciliation, darlings. So, for some of you water signs, I'm seeing here, clear this face off. Starting to look like a new table. For some of you guys, um, there's definitely some sort of reconciliation, okay? And also saying that you deserve love. You are lovable. Let me get one more card for this. You are lovable because everybody knows that shit, but do you know it? Okay. So you could be in the past thinking about this person, in the past, what they've done, what you guys, how you guys have gotten to where you are now because that's a past life relationship. So you deserve love. Okay, uh, you could be feeling like your partner's not giving you enough love or there's not enough uh, deserving energy. Okay, like somebody's deserving of the love that they've given out. Also, with this reconciliation, someone from your past all right now. So, very interesting. Very, very interesting. We're going to see what's going on with the advice cards. We're going to start out with the reconciliation, darling. This could be a part of that forgiving and learning. These are kind of attached to each other. Okay, they're kind of sticking, sticking to each other. But um, for some of you on this forgiving and learning, I feel like there's some sort of thought or a new idea or some information that you could have been receiving. It could be from a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Also, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here, and Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. So I feel like um, there's someone who wants, who they could be at a distance, but they want to come in. It's kind of like they bring, they've brought in a lot of instability if they're wanting a reconciliation, but you're kind of trying to put this idea to a good use, okay? Now, some of you all, this person could come rushing in, but I feel like there's something that's getting ready to blossom here. Okay, the advice is to let things just grow as they may. Water it if you need to. Let the shit dry up if you need to and die. And come back next season or something or plant something else different. All right, because it's saying here you could be needing to uh, blossom elsewhere, even if this person is coming away, or you could be uh, thinking about leaving away from this person, you know, even if they are approaching you. Uh, I feel like there is something that you are refusing to see within this reconciliation that you're refusing to really understand the truth of the matter. Um, I feel like this person brings in a lot of instability, though. That's what I really feel. And I feel like um, you're wanting this security or, you know, just this solid life. But they're not able to bring it in. They're able to come rushing in. Okay, they're able to communicate certain things. May not be the truth, all right? But there is something that you're either going to water it or you're refusing to see a new growth or a new change, okay? So 
with that being said, let's see um, what this um, You Deserve Love is all about. Because I feel a lot of you guys um, have like this sudden change or someone could have been messaging you or someone um, was trying to shoot out a message. Okay, It could be Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy here. But um, I feel like someone needs to put in some efforts. Okay, they need to flirt. It needs to be uh, rapid. Okay, coming in. Um, one more. Yeah, someone's going to have to take the lead. So someone could be kind of immature here. But I do feel there's definitely something that you deserve that you need to send out some communication. Um, but I feel like there is something you need to stay ready for. So, you deserve it, water signs, and also past life relationship. You just need to let this shit flow, okay? So, take your time. Put in the effort that is deserving. Um, but I'm also seeing if there's a reconciliation, there could be some things that you're refusing to see or this person isn't quite seeing shit the way they need to. All right, so let's see what Tarot has to say about this reconciliation and also the forgiving and learning all right, Two of Cups, Knight of Swords. Someone could be coming in pretty angry here. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like there is some sort of flirtation or something that um, you're wanting. You're gr someone's not grasping what they want in their flirtation. So this could be you know, someone who's refusing to see or some sort of news that's traveling fast. All right. Um, but I feel water signs, a lot of you guys could be dealing with a, um, a little heartbreaker, somebody who's too confident, too prideful. Okay. Three of swords energy. I feel you're going to be healing away from the situation irregardless, or you've healed away from them, but they're going to be watching you water signs. Okay. Page of swords. So whoever this reconciliation is for, this person is going to be watching you. Um, they're going to be a kind of obsessed or they look like they're kind of obsessed, but they're refusing to see their wrongdoings. Okay. Um, but I feel like this is kind of them and they're in their own right. They feel, you know, you're, there's someone who needs to come out with the truth. Okay. Or in your own right, someone feels the truth needs to be let out. Uh, but I feel like someone's keeping it hidden and they're kind of just, you know, being angry about it because they're just watching what's going on instead of actually compromising. But there's definitely a connection here uh, in this reconciliation. But I feel someone is uh, kind of limited to their independence and their happiness if they were to entertain this. OK, so uh, forgiving and learning, I feel um, there is something that's justified here with this justice energy. Some of you all could be dealing with a Libra, but there's some fairness. There's some balance here. Okay. Um, I do feel that there could be someone who needs to embrace uh, themselves. I also feel like um, someone is trying to understand their principles. Okay. The principles of the relationship with the forgiving and learning. Let me turn this light on. So um, for some of you guys, I'm really seeing that someone wants this luminous type of energy and there's going to be a fair balance um, with them bringing on their natural abilities and their natural self. OK, uh, it could just be that you're forgiving and learning in your own time or at your own time. OK, but it's saying that you deserve love because you are learning. Um, and there could be some sort of message um, that you're going to have to put forth some effort. But I feel like someone's kind of being a victim here. Star energy, you could be dealing with an Aquarian, but I feel like you're trying to let go of these tears, let go of... Because um, when I see the star energy in reverse, I feel someone is not able to understand where their emotions are coming from. Okay, so you could be taking a shower, you could be letting tears flow, but I feel like it's saying that you deserve love because you know how much um, love you have to give, okay? 
But I feel that this person that you're dealing with kind of brings a lot of instability as well. They could be kind of driving you wild with this King of Cups in reverse and also the Temperance energy. Um, so be aware of that. I do feel like they could be having you um, in a situation that has them looking at more priorities, um, more so than focused on you. But I feel um, some of you all, some of you all just want to end this relationship or just end it all together. This person is definitely um, kind of playing mind games and tricks for some of you guys. I feel like they're kind of jealous of your success. Um, they've been watching your success for some of you water signs. And if you have something that's coming along, um, it's saying that you're just going to have to take things and go with the flow with it. But at the same time, there's some things that you're still awaiting for in this person um, that you feel like they might be a stalemate or their perception is just off. But I feel um, there's a new beginning that you want to come. So let's see about possible outcomes. OK, because I feel there's there's definitely something that's blossoming here that someone has put forth some efforts. OK, that you felt this person could have been a stalemate or they were depriving you of the love that you um, felt they were being very indifferent to and very stressful. OK, a very stressful person. But I feel like their perception is definitely something that's um, opposed to yours or different than yours. And it could be feeling like it's just, you know, uh, in between feeling between you and this person. OK. But possible outcomes, um, I feel that with the devil energy here, there's a lot of toxic codependency energy here that someone's having to analyze. Someone needs to really take a look at um, what keeps them together, the good and the bad, all right? Um, it could be someone that you feel is really perplexed with uh, being independent, okay? bringing forth that upright of speaking up about shit. Okay. Like a motherfucker just, um, it's like you want easygoing shit or they want easygoing shit. And it's not really like that. You know, you want this euphoric feeling that happens over and over again, and it just doesn't work out like that. So there could be some differences or some scattered thoughts, um, you know, that make you feel like you're still reliant on this person. Um, but for some of you guys, Cancer Pisces Scorpio here, also Capricorn, um, but definitely Cancer Pisces Scorpio. I feel like someone's taking a break from this situation because it brings a lot of imbalance. The mix and mediums just really aren't working well together, but they're definitely going to be spying on you. Page of Swords, um, pay, uh, Six, Seven of Pentacles. Um, but like I said, um, with the Page of swords earlier this person is watching your every single move um or you're watching their every single move but they're gonna bring you some sort of love i did see the uh the ace of cups earlier but i feel like even though this person brings you a lot of heartbreaks ups and downs it's a really codependent type of relationship um someone is going to try to mix and master with coming in and out with their emotions you could be uh just really based uh, you could be basing your relationship off of your happiness with the nine of cups. That seems like that's pretty good. Shit. Also could be dealing with Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. All right. Um, a lot of you guys want this happiness to come in. It's going to come in, but is it temporary is the question. Um, some of you all, you know, you're kind of not really wanting to be willing to allow yourself, um, uh, it's kind of like you don't want that instant gratification. Give me the real fucking shit. I want to taste it, feel it. I want to be able to hold you. That's what I'm seeing here. Um, but some of you guys are going to have a new beginning with this full energy. All right. There's going to be a turn of events that happens for some of you all. It could be with a Scorpio. Um, I feel like someone is afraid. They don't have anything to offer. But there's going to be major clarity here. Okay. Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups. Um, I feel it could be someone who's dealing with someone from a distant or someone who could have been distant from, uh, their past, or they have children, some sort of tie through memories here, um, that you guys have together. But I feel like it's going to be a lot of clarity. 
there could be a sudden change of an invite for some of you guys that might come through, baby. But with this hangman energy three of pentacles, you're just going to be feeling like everybody's just hanging around, awaiting their opportunity with things just in the air. Okay. Um, I feel with this tower energy, there's going to be somebody who wants to offer you um, that stability, emperor energy, empress. Okay. Um, but it's kind of like, are you in between that static of making it with each other or not? Definitely with this full energy, a new beginning. Okay. All right, guys. I love you. I'm going to get on out of here. Simply love. Look at this. And also giving and receiving. Some of y'all could just really taking a break from this situation and getting a peace of mind. But there's definitely some love here that you're analyzing. And it's here. Okay. But there's a, a shakeup that's going to happen. That's going to change and make a new beginning for you. All right, water signs. I love you guys. I will see you in the next video. If you need to get a personal read, hit that description box down below, baby. Peace.